What's happening everybody, King GBL here, and welcome back to a brand new Gobelic video. Today I'm going to be showcasing buffed Gardevoir in the Psychic Cup. This Pokemon was already very, very broken in the Psychic Cup. However, it's now even more broken with the addition of Triple Axle, which is a faster charging move, and of course buffs your attack as a Gardevoir, so those charms are just chunking. They're already chunking, now they're just absolutely blitzing the opponents. We're going to be checking a Charm Gardevoir in the Psychic Cup today. Um, these are some early battles, some practice battles. If you want to do some practice battles of upcoming Cups, uh, feel free to do so on our Discord, and big thank you to everybody who's doing so. Guys, to be honest with you, I don't really like uploading practice battles, but that seems to be the new norm at this point. In order to get any sort of content out early, you do sort of have to do practice battles these days, but anyway guys, hopping into the battles, as you can see, we had a little bit of Gardevoir versus Gardevoir, and yeah, Anton gets the win in the first match, but I actually didn't lose too many times with this team. This is a super strong team, if you're looking to get a lot of wins with Gardevoir. As you can see here, we've got a Claydol lead. I wasn't really sure which one would win, but by the looks of things, uh, Gardevoir basically just outpaces everything that can farm down. And of course, we can hit them with the super effective triple axle. This is quite close. They do have paces here. I think they may be on a Scorching Sands, yeah, which is the newly buff move for Claydol. I decide to swap out and bank uh, an axle here. And at this point, we're going to farm up to seven and fire off a body slam. As you can see in this battle, we're running Galarian Rapidash. I highly recommend running Bruxish. I was just trying a Galarian Rapidash in this team, and uh, Bruxish definitely works a lot better. Um, the only problem with Gardevoir is it doesn't really offer a lot of shield pressure. However, you are a little bit weak to certain Pokemon if you're on this with Victini and Rapidash. So if that's a team that you're running, uh, or thinking of running, I don't necessarily recommend it. I think going with Bruxish is a lot safer because uh, basically all of the Pokemon that are strong against Gardevoir, Bruxish can deal with, and Victini of course can deal with the Steel types, and generally has a lot of positive matchups against things that Gardevoir would uh, likely lose to. The trickiest Pokemon for this team are definitely the Galarian Slowbro and Slow King. However, they're both uh, Psychic Poison types. You can still hit them for heavy damage with V-Create, and you're going to see that in a couple of these upcoming battles. The opponent does get to the move here. Um, let's see, will this actually take us out? It just about doesn't take us out, and we can actually get up to back-to-back -back V creates. I come in for the snipe of Gardevoir, they come in with Gardevoir of their own, and we're going to YOLO off the triple axle. Now at this point, what I need to do with Victini is just farm up as much energy as I possibly can. And um, we're up to almost 100 energy here. You can bank about 2.5 V creates basically, and we're basically looking to try and get both of these moves off, and try to commit to the farm down. This match is going to be super, super close. Um, can we actually get to this V-Create, or can we get to the farm down in time? Galarian Rapidash coming through, we're double debuffed. We do just about get the farm down, and that's a good game well played. Like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of this team. While using Rapidash instead of uh, Bruxish, I found that Bruxish was just so good, and you have two extremely uh, heavy fast move pressure Pokemon, and again, you have Victini. Now, in this matchup here with Rapidash, I think you can live a Body Slam. Um, I decided to shield up the first one here, and the opponent actually swaps into a Cresselia. Now what I'm going to do here is farm up and catch on Victini. Victini resists all of the moves, and Cresselia is one of the Pokemon that can beat uh, Gardevoir in the 2 shield. Gardevoir beats almost anything in the 2 shielding scenario, which is kind of crazy. Now what I'm going to do is before debuffing my attack, or sorry my defense, I'm going to farm all the way up to 100 energy. Uh, generally that's what you need to do with Victini in this cop. If you're against an opposing Victini especially, you never throw first, you always try to build up to 100 energy first, allow the opponent to debuff their defense, and then look to basically take advantage from there. You can easily live a recreate, but if you're debuffed, you can't live it, right? So, grass not coming through, I'm not sure if I would have lived that or not, but I realize that two V-Creates is going to be super handy for no matter what comes in. So, what I'm going to look to do here is YOLO off a of V-Create, boom, and we're going to swap into Broxish. You thought I was going to say Gardevoir, I'm keeping Gardevoir alive, because I'm thinking here, this thing can get off a move. I don't want to necessarily eat a move on Gardevoir. I'll eat the move on this thing. I've got a move stored on the other thing as well. Foul play takes us out, and at this point, we're going to come into Gardevoir and just start charming it down. Now, the opponent has another foul play. So this is getting super close. Foul play coming through. It just about doesn't take us out. They swap back into Rapidash. And they're going to have to eat a triple axle. Now basically what I need to do here is go for a slight over farm. Victini loses CMP on this. I cannot CMP it right. So we get a few extra quick attacks for him. Fire off the V-Create. And now it's a race between us and Melamore. Can we get to the move in time? Did they have extra energy? They miss out by one turn. And I actually think they got a one turn swap earlier as well. They got denied. So it may have been a CMP time. Had they not got denied the turn. And that was a super close match and good games well played. Now, this is the I Hate Gardevoir team. I was actually playing against uh, some viewers on stream, and of course, they knew I was running this team. So, this is definitely a bit of a troll team here. I've got Galarian Slow King. However, what you guys are about to see about Gardevoir, and the reason I want to leave this uh, footage in here, is look how low we're getting them. We are actually matching them for damage, even though this is resisted, and they've got super effective hexes. We're going to fire off the triple axle here, which will get the shield or get the knockout. So, in the one shield scenario, we're actually winning this somehow. Now, as you see, the charms are actually chunking. If I shield up again, I can actually take out the slow bro. I decide, you know what, I'm going to let Gardevoir go and come in and go for a nasty farm down here with Victini. I'm praying and hoping the opponent does not get off another move. They do reach the move in time, unfortunately. However, Victini with loaded energy is no joke. This thing can do a ton of damage to basically anything in this meta. Even a Bruxish, a Water-type, 
you still do like 50% damage to it. And in comes a Bronzong. Like I said, it's the I hate Gardevoir team. I'm getting absolutely trolled here. We're going to YOLO off the first one here. And the rough thing is I can't really farm it down from here. And they're doing a ton of damage with Faint Attack. So we're going to fire off on our Avi crate and hopefully look to see what's in the back. I do need to swap out of here. I'm very, very deep off at this point, right? We're going to come in. It's Rapidash versus Rapidash. Now this is going to come down to a bait call. Do they call the high horsepower? We're going to YOLO it here. Now, I don't know if they're watching my stream. I don't know if they have the Discord bot, but they do shield it. And I think it's a very good shield. And um, they're looking to go for an over farm to uh, make sure they can take out the Victini as well. So very well played by this trainer. High horsepower coming through. That's going to one-shot the uh, the Ponyta or the Rapidash. And yeah, we lose the MP, unfortunately. So a Vicariate does 73% to a Rapidash, for anybody wondering, right? So that match was getting pretty close. And we're hopping straight into the next one. We get a Malamar lead, and it is Rapidash. Now, Rapidash is no answer to Gardevoir. Gardevoir can practically charm it the whole way down. Rapidash is fairly decent against Broxish, so what you would maybe want to do in this situation is charm it down a little bit and maybe look to come into Broxish afterwards. I decide to shield here and try and take Switch. We're going to bite, 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 bite. Just before they get to the next body slam, we're firing off the Psychic Fangs and we'll see if the opponent wants to take alignment here. Of course, they have a Malamar, which is very, very bad. And um, at this point, I'm happy to let it go. Not only is Malamar weak to Gardevoir, it's also weak to Victini. So I can come in here, get a farm down and hopefully look to put that energy to good use. And we should be able to get the shields off the opponent, right? And then hopefully look to get to a triple axle with Gardevoir. And um, we'll see what the opponent comes in with. They come in with Malamar, of course, because they don't want to necessarily get uh, eaten alive by Gardevoir. I decide to YOLO this move straight away. And I think what I'll look to do is swap into Gardevoir and just go for a charming session. Now, in comes Victini. And as I mentioned to you guys before, right? You need to wait as long as possible before throwing the moves. Because all I need to do here is actually shield this up and just start keep just keep charming it. I'm going to boost my attack as well. This will get them very close to knockout or, of course, guarantee the shield. Triple Axel would just about KO, so they're forced to shield it. And as you can see, charms are just heading like absolute crazy. They're heading like uh, buffed up Shadow Claws right now. And we're going to come in with Victini. Can we get the farm down? We just about do. And the Malamar is at a move. Now the question is, can we survive a full play on Victini? Is Victini thick enough? We do just survive it and get off the v crate just in time. Good games well played. I think Malamar is an amazing uh, Pokemon for this cop. And it may be a Pokemon I look to use. It does very, very well against uh, into a lot of the cores that you see in this cop, right? So Malamar, it will beat uh, Bronzong, Claydol, Bruxish, Slowking. It has a bit of a tricky match against Rapidash and uh, Victini, which is the kind of bad thing about it. And um, we're going to come in here. <laughs> in this match, I was accidentally using the wrong move. We actually have Confusion on this. However, the one really good thing about Confusion is the energy generation. And if they just so happen to have a Slow King, it would be kind of rough for them, right? We're going to fire off the Crunch. It'll look to take out the Victini. Arguably, you could go for uh, Aqua Tail instead. I think it's probably more uh, likely that you'll get to the move. You don't oftentimes get to the moves with uh, Bruxish. So it is something to keep in mind. And as you guys are seeing here, Gardevoir can charm it down before they can uh, take you out, right? This is actually a winning matchup for Gardevoir. We just charm it the whole way down and we'll see what's in the back. It is an older Gardevoir. So what I decide to do here is try and get a shield off the opponent. I have a Victini. I've got charm damage. And all we need to do at this point is form up to 10 quick attacks and that's basically game over. We should be able to take out the Gardevoir absolutely no problem. So if you guys are trying to deal with Gardevoir with your own Victini, just try to throw as late as possible. It takes them 21 turns to get to a triple axle, and it'll take you 20 turns to get to a uh, 2v creates, right? So definitely a lot better to do it that way. Just uh, build up to both and then fire off both moves at the same time. Sorry, I misspoke. It's actually 24 turns for the triple axle and 21 for the second one. But I don't think I've ever seen a Gardevoir get off two moves. As I mentioned, Gardevoir straight wins this match. Ordinarily in a real match, I would not be catching this. I would just eat the Psychic Fangs and charm it down. And take alignment right but because we're showcasing Gardevoir we're trying to keep this thing alive and trying to do some nasty damage with it in the back and Gardevoir can like hit most back lines however we've got an absolutely nasty team I need to take care of this with Broxish none of my Pokemon can deal with this Pokemon right here and if they have Slowking in the back this is looking very very rough as well we go for one bite for good timing fire off the Psychic Fangs which of course will KO it's super effective against the Poison type they shield it up and keep some health on this thing and we do get it quite low now at this point I'm debating what to do should I come in and sack my Gardevoir I think um, I try to go for a bit of a farm down with Victini because we're in the one-to-one -one shield scenario and if you get ahead on energy with Victini, you can potentially put in some work. So we shield up the Surf and in comes Galarian Slowking. Now again, this is a team that you're definitely going to see. Now we go for the over farm. Um, I don't think one move quite KOs us here. I think they have to go for Shadow Ball to KO. They go for a Surf. We go for a one and throw here and we're going to go for back-to-back -back V creates. Now this is going to be getting super, super close. We go for V create number one. Maybe I could have swapped out there and look to uh, start charming with Gardevoir first and then throw the V-Create. That way I would have had a little bit more health on Victini. We almost get to the Triple Axel. Look how close this is getting. This is an absolutely terrible team for Gardevoir and we're getting super, super close. And um, they just about take us out. Of course they have a Pokemon in the back with minimal health, but considering that's pretty much the worst team you can possibly see more or less, 
that's pretty good. Um, now, <laughs> pretty terrible lead for the opponent. We've got Charm Gardevoir. <laughs> I've done so much damage, bro. And they come into this thing. This is not an answer either. This is not an answer either. And if you don't have good IVs on this Rapid Ash, you just absolutely obliterate it, as you can see. And we can shield it once and farm it down, basically. I do decide to store some energy and get ahead on Bruxish. Because what we can then do with Bruxish in this team is like to bite, 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 get to a Psychic Fangs, and then charm it down with Gardevoir, right? Uh, back in comes this thing. And you guys are about to see that Latios is not great for this cop. It just gets bitten down. And uh, in comes Cresselia. Very thick Pokemon. We do commit to the move. However, I think this should just basically be game over at this point. We come in with Victini. Once again, all we need to do is just build up the back-to-back -back V crates. Jay here knows the story with this Pokemon. You uh, debuff your defense, right? So they know that all of their moves are resisted. However, they threaten a lot of damage. If they wait till the very last second, they let the first one go. We're going to YOLO off the second move here to look to either uh, get the shield or get the knockout. But I think at this point, Jay realizes like Gardevoir is just too healthy in the back and we still have a shield, right? So it's going to be good games and... It is a temptation to run Latios, but holy shit, the charms just absolutely destroy that thing. Gardevoir versus Victini. Again, this is not a good matchup for you, but the opponent has to build up, otherwise they're going to debuff their defense. So that actually allows you to get off a lot of damage before they actually get off a move. We try to catch the move on Victini, we do end up catching a V-Create. And as I mentioned, now that the opponent's debuffed, I can let the first move go, and I can look to basically overfarm. Now in comes Bruxish. In general, in this matchup, what you probably want to do... So if they put him for a move, they take you out and you only get off one move. So you can go for overheat if you've got two moves on it. In general though, you should probably throw the V create as soon as possible because they'll just farm you down. So in order to give the opponent less farm, you just insta throw the V create. We're going to charm it down with Gardevoir and we're going to see what the opponent has in the back here. To be honest with you, there's not a lot of things that want to see Gardevoir because we've actually over farmed a decent amount, which means that we're going to get to a move. They come in with Victini and I'm happy enough to shield this at this point. Because they're debuffing their defense, these charms are going to start chunking. I decide to go for a uh, bite down with Bruxish here. And look to, like I said, debuff the final opponent. It is Rapid Ash here. All we really need to do is get to the Psychic Fangs, which will debuff the defense. Now, the opponent needs to Mega Horn or High Horsepower to take us out here. Let's see what the opponent decides to do. They go for the Body Slam, which will allow us to get off the move here. And that's going to put them in a very tricky spot because all of these uh, bites are going to add up. And of course, our uh, Guard of Horse is going to start chunking it. The opponent's in a rock and a hard place because they are either going to get bitten down or charmed down. So, like, that just goes to show you how broken this team is. And I think that's why a lot of people are playing Master League this week. Do let me know in the comments if you're going to play Psychic Cop or Master League. This has to be the worst cop of all time. Like, I thought the single type of cop was bad, but then I remembered, oh yeah, Psychic Cop exists. The opponent swaps into Raichu. I decide to stay in here and just look to farm it the whole way down. Because what we can look to do, we're actually leading Bruxish in this match. Um, they go for Wild Charge, we can just basically farm it the whole way down. And look to go for um, a Psychic Fangs on their Bruxish. What that should hopefully allow us to do is come in with Gardevoir. Just tap, tap, tap it the whole way down. And then we've basically got a Gardevoir with shields or with a shield against the final Pokemon. Can we tap it down in time? We just absolutely melt that thing. And in comes Gardevoir of their own. And this is just melt versus melt. Now, once again, we have Victini. We can just come in here, farm up to 10. I think in this situation, we don't even need to farm up to 10. These quick attacks are absolutely chunking. I can let the triple axle go. I wanted to see how much damage this would do. As you can see, it doesn't do that much unless you're debuffed and that's a good game well played. In the Psychic Cup, the games are extremely fast. It, like, I got through a full set of five battles in like 15 or 16 minutes playing with somebody, which is just kind of wild. Um, we have a Gardevoir versus Gardevoir lead. We're going to see who wins the charm off. Now, ordinarily, I would stay into this matchup, but of course, it's a Gardevoir showcase, so we do want to come in with Victini. In comes Rapidash, and now that we're ahead in energy, we should be in a pretty good position here. I allow the opponent to throw first, which means that I will not get KO'd from this Body Slam. Boom, Body Slam coming through. Definitely chunks. We throw after one here, and I think I make a slight mistake. I think the opponent could potentially CMP me on this next move, because I overfarm by one. So just make sure you're trying not to CMP the opponent on these. Uh, because, again, these do 73% to the Rapidash, it will take it out. But if you build up to back to back, and they CMP you on the second one, you're in a lot of trouble, right? So Body Slam coming through, and at this point, we're going to wait down. We're actually not even waiting our timer down, we're just going to come in for the Charm Down. Do I decide to shield this up? I think I do decide to shield it up, because we can get off um, a lot of Charm damage on whatever comes in. And of course, look to fire off the Triple Axle or Shadow Ball. Back in comes our own Gardevoir, and well, we'll see what the opponent has in the back. We're up a shield, so we should be in a good position, but it's Metacham! This Pokemon is actually not very good for Broxish, and uh, shout out to Beetle here I'm playing. He actually told me that if you have a rank 1 Metacham using Para Punch, you can actually beat Broxish, which is kind of insane. Metacham is just a super thick Pokemon, and of course, uh, even against some pretty bad matchups, it can do quite well. We're bite bite biting it the whole way down. Um, I decide to shield up a potential Ice Punch. I'm thinking it's Para Punch Ice Punch. This is getting super close till they get to the move. The opponent just dies with the move. 
and that's a good game well played. Metacham was definitely very scary and uh, we'll hop into the next one. Very positive lead. Again, the Psychic Cup, it's kind of a boring cup, guys, to be honest with you. You're going to see the same six or seven Pokemon over and over and over again. And the fact they made this a two-week cup is just stupid, in my opinion. I understand we've got the Psychic Spectacular event, but holy, can we come up with a new cup? Can we come up with a new cup? Like, let's do like a Poison, Psychic, and Dark cup. Like, I'm just making that up. I I'm sure Dark is probably just broken in that cup. Or like a Poison, Fairy, and Psychic. Like, or, you know, something, like just something. Not the Psychic cup. This, this cup is absolutely horrible. Look at this team. It's Broxish, Broxish with Bite. Gardevoir with Triple Axel and Victini. Well, Victini's pretty cool, right? But, like, this is the most brain-dead cop imaginable. You can play, like, pretty smartly, of course. Like, there are some teams, right? Like, a Victini and Rapidash requires a lot of energy management. But there are just so many fast-move pressure teams um, featuring either Gardevoir, um, Dragon Breath users occasionally, of course, Broxish, and generally, you know, like, Mudslap play it all as well. Generally, it's just not a very fun meta, and it's just not a meta that you pull in for two weeks. I think, like, one thing I'm disappointed with with Go Battle League, personally, is how, let's be completely honest, lazy and uncreative they are with these limited metas. We're having two weeks of Electric Cop, pretty RPS meta, two weeks of Psychic Cop, RPS meta. I think it's just completely laziness, like, we had a Fantasy Ultra Cop last season, which was really good. That was a fairly new meta, so, like, I just don't understand why we can't come up with new metas here. Surely we could have a meta like Psychic, Dark, and Fighting all together? Like, would that not be a lot better than just Psychic Cop? Um... Of course, it's RPS, right? And Metacham would be uh, banned, you would hope. But, like, why can we not have cups like that instead of just, uh, you know, RPS crap cups like this? I, I just don't get it. Um, uh, let alone two weeks. I think it's just lazy and uncreative. Um, we wouldn't come in with uh, Malamar here, which I'm not too sure why, to be fair. Um, Gardevoir just absolutely wrecks us. I think they want us to throw energy here in this situation to try and, like, overfarm a Victini. They come in with Gardevoir of their own, and Gardevoir is just wrecking this entire team. Look how much damage those charms done with the boost. Like, Gardevoir is just crazy, man. And again, it's like insane to me that we've got two weeks of this cup with buffed Gardevoir. Of all the Pokemon you could have buffed for this cup, you buffed Gardevoir. It's just insane. <laughs> it is just insane, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Victini's gonna come through. I just let these moves go here at this point, because I can just bite it down. I'm more than happy I'm just committing to fast moves at this point. We can let this move go, and that's gonna be good games. But yeah, let me know what you think about the Psychic Cup in the comments down below, guys. Once again, man, big shout out to everybody who had uh, done some Discord battles with me today. Really much appreciate it. Uh, shout out to Jai, Beetle, Anton, uh, Kid in the Corner, and sorry if I've missed out anybody, but guys, I really appreciate it. It really helps me get these videos out, and if you're interested in a team that's very, very toxic and very strong in the cup, in the Psychic Cup, uh, look no further than this one. Thank you, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.